Hello again, FA Nation. Justin Fensterman here, and it's fantasy football stock watch time. Let's talk about which players are trending up and down when it comes to their fantasy football production potential. Let's hit the marketplace. First, for a few players trending up, let's start with Christian Kirk. After a couple down games a month ago, Kirk has caught seven or more passes in three of his last four outings and was targeted at least seven times in all four. He hit the end zone in back-to-back -back weeks, totaling three actually, after scoring twice in Week 10. Trevor Lawrence has bounced back nicely in the Jaguars' last few games, and Kirk has a team target share exceeding 23%. After the Jaguars come back from their Week 11 bye, they play some of the weakest teams in the league against wide receivers in the Ravens, Titans, and Lions, all giving up at least 36 fantasy points per game to wide receivers. Kirk is tied for second among wideouts with seven touchdown receptions. Another player trending up, Jeff Wilson. Wilson was an afterthought prior to the NFL trade deadline when the 49ers traded for Christian McCaffrey and had Elijah Mitchell on the men. But then he got sent to Miami, and in two games, we've seen Wilson out-snap Raheem Mostert. Wilson received 17 carries, and Mostert logged 8 in Week 10. In both of Wilson's games with Miami, he even received more targets than Mostert. Wilson is the bigger back and will be prioritized over Mostert moving forward, it's looking like. Wilson's posting 5.4 yards per carry on the ground, and he's scored in both of his last two contests. The Dolphins are on bye in Week 11, but they come back to a juicy matchup for Wilson against the Texans before battling his former team in Week 13. Also on the rise, let's talk about Dalton Schultz. Tight ends have been very hard to rely on besides Travis Kelsey and for the most part Mark Andrews, but Schultz has seen his production and certainly targets rise over the last few weeks, and he just scored his first touchdown of the season in Week 10. Schultz has caught five or more passes and logged 49 or more yards in three straight games. He's been a top two target of Dak Prescott in both of his last two matchups and even received 20% of the team's targets in week seven. He's averaged the second most fantasy points among tight ends in the last four weeks of NFL action. I'll note though that the Cowboys were on by for one of those weeks. Schultz has caught over 70% of the passes thrown his way this year. Now for some players trending down, let's start with Kareem Hunt. We all know Nick Chubb is the team's prioritized running back, but we just saw Hunt play in just 24 snaps in the Browns matchup in Week 10, the fewest he's played all year. Hunt's fantasy prospects were a bit more appealing early in the year because he was getting double-digit carries regularly, but hit double figures in just one of his last four games. He's rushing for fewer than four yards per carry for the season and hasn't exceeded four yards per rush in any game since Week 5. The other problem is he's not getting consistent enough work in the Browns' passing attack. He's received more than two targets in just one of his last four battles. The Browns made a mistake not trading him at the deadline. They pulled down their asking price way too late. The Browns have a few tough matchups on the ground coming up and hunts a very risky player to start in fantasy football. Wide receiver trending down, Debo Samuel. Bringing in a highly skilled offensive player like Christian McCaffrey will do nothing but hurt the other 49ers offensive weapons, and they have a lot of them. Before McCaffrey arrived in San Francisco, Samuel already started getting targeted less than Brandon Ayuk and was matching George Kittle. We saw Ayuk get the most targets in Week 10, and Samuel and McCaffrey get the same amount. Any rushing upside you thought you were getting when you drafted Samuel is gone with McCaffrey there. McCaffrey being a pass-catching running back will also hit Samuel's targets. He hasn't hit the end zone since week five, and Ayuk has a bigger team target percentage than Samuel for the season. Yikes. Final faller, Michael Gallup. Gallup has scored just one touchdown all year, and he hasn't had any kind of ceiling fantasy performance. He's logged double figures in fantasy and PPR just once this year, and he hasn't even contributed 200 receiving yards in six games of action. As stated before, clearly both C.D. Lamb and Dalton Schultz are prioritized more than him in the Cowboys' offense, and we've even seen Tony Pollard at times match Gallup when it comes to targets or come pretty close. Gallup has only caught 53% of the passes he's received, and even during bye weeks, he's very hard to rely on for production when it comes to fantasy football. We'll see if he can produce against the weak Minnesota secondary in Week 11 before the secondaries get harder moving forward. But he's unreliable.